Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So with this series, we are again going to start tool, which is Test Rigger. So Test Rigger is the number one generative AI based test automation tool. A lot of people are asking that Naveen share some tools, which is codeless and AI generated based tool. So now this is a tool that guys uh, perfect fit for you. If you are looking for a codeless automation tool, which is completely based on AI. So you just need to go to testrigger.com and uh, here you will see with testrigger you can use free flowing plain English to build test and uh, test automation. Testrigger will understand and execute your instructions exactly as written. It means whatever you have written in your plain English uh, sentences or either BDD based uh, feature files also or scenarios also if you have defined it will just exactly do the same thing here. For example, uh, the way test trigger operates is by translating the high level instructions like purchase a Kindle into a more specific set of steps such as enter Kindle into search, press enter, click Kindle and add to cart. So you just need to the way you are writing the plain English or the way you are writing a manual test cases also here you need to write it. It is so smart enough to recognize whatever the uh, plain English or scenario the steps that you have written. It will pick that and will try to execute it on the browser right so you are always have the ability to correct these instructions and expand upon them using supported commands found here so they have given the complete uh, command list over here and then you can just use these commands uh, documentation is also really good and then you can use these commands let's see for example if i really want to perform a click so i have to write click cart click on the third hello five times click chrome in the context of the pixel 3 xl something like that click on the middle of the screen click on see this n number of click operations that click on hello using the mouse right so it's up to you click on hello without scrolling that also you can do it click on the image from a stored value logo right and then let's see generate generate a unique email that enter into the email and save as new email so save as new email means it will create a variable and see it's so smart enough it will recognize that okay we have to create a unique email id here so you don't need to write any code for that just like we do it in selenium and play right that we have to create a a random email id or some unique email id by writing the code but here you just need to give the instruction that generate the unique email and then enter into the email text field and that's it right so n number of examples you can see this example generate a unique phone number from the template you can give and you can provide a template also then enter the phone and save as generated phone so it will save as a variable also like generated phone and this variable you can use it later on whenever it's required so we will take in upcoming chapters n number of examples like this we will cover that so you can refer their documentation and then you can just simply use it see for example enter one into my checkbox enter enter into notes right so if you really want to fill the value or type the value that also you can do it see for the drop downs enter code or value from the my select enter select india from the country drop down like this also you can just simply do it here so these are different commands if you follow it you just need to write it. You don't need to write any simple code for that. And not only for the web automation, you can write the same thing with cover with both native and hybrid application for iOS and Android for mobile automation. Also, you can later on integrate with the Lambda test browser stack for a broader range of uh, test devices. You can do desktop automation also like create test for native Windows application available only in iPad version as of now. People were asking about can we do the desktop automation? Yes, we can do it with the iPad version. Maybe later on with the desktop version or Windows version also will be available very soon. Can we invoke the APIs? Post call, get call, put call and everything. Yes, of course, we can do that as well. So invoke API, retrieve values. You know, we can validate the returns, codes, status code and everything. That also you can do it. You can send the email using a sample, a simple send email command. Include attachment and the verify it's delivered or not. SMS plus phone calls, two-factor authentication, login SMS and validate. OTP codes received via email. So this is like completely AI based tool, generative AI based tool. And then you can just simply use it here. You can see more and more features about it. You can see and read the testimonials, what exactly their customers say about it. And this is what the most important thing you can, for, uh, you can fit this into your workflow also in your CACD workflow. Also, it integrates with the tools that you already use it, right? For example, GitLab, Jenkins, Zira, GitHub Actions, Zephyr, Test Rail, Azure DevOps, Circle CI, and more. Right. So support team is also really good, and then it's uh, certified with the 
all the security compliances and everything that they are following it, GDPR and CCPR and HIPAA compliant and everything. So you can just simply go through it and it's very easy to use this particular tool here. See this, this is just something, uh, click add to cart and click that page contains added some demo that they have given. So what we can do, we just need to click on sign up. And then after that, you just need to fill this entire form. You don't need to pay as of now anything for that. You can check later on if you really want to go with the uh, pricing model also. Initially, 14 days are absolutely free. So if you are looking for a tool which is a codeless plus AI based, that is the right and perfect fit for you. You just need to fill the form and then register now. I'm already having my account on this. So I'm just going to log in directly. So see this, I'm going to log in here and uh, simple go to their login page and then click on sign in after that. And then this is the thing. So although I have done a lot of practices on this particular, a lot of scenarios that I have done. So you can see here the N number of test suites, which are already created here in my account. Right? I have already integrated with Lambda test and APIs, mobile automation, iOS automation, a lot of things that I have done already. Definitely I'll teach you all these things also step by step. This is just only first intro video or one sample video for the demo purpose that we are creating it. After that, what do you just need to do here? After that, you just need to uh, fill this particular test suite information that what exactly your suite name. So let's see, I'm giving the suite name is, let's see, simple sample demo, sample demo suite. Okay. What kind of application you want to test? So I simple say mobile application, native or hybrid mobile app or desktop web application. So let's select the desktop web. And what is the URL of the application? So any environment that you're using, stage environment or QA environment or production, you can give that. So I'll do one thing. I simply say that this is my login application. Let's see, this is the one. And then I'm an open card application. And this is a URL of this application. I simply paste it over here. If you really want to supply the username, that also you can supply. Or later on, if you really want to write in your step, that also you can do it. So I'm just keeping it blank. On which operating system you want to pick Ubuntu, Windows or OS. So I'll say, let's see on Windows application, I really want to, I mean, on Windows operating system, I really want to run my test, which browser you want to use Chrome edge and the Firefox. Let's say I'm using Chrome here, number of test cases to generate using AI. So you can select that. Okay. How many test cases that AI will be generating for you by using this application. So right now I don't want to generate any AI based simple, make it zero here, right? Later on, if AI will automatically uh, go through this application and then try to generate the test cases using the AI that I don't want as of now, later on, if I want, I can do it. I want to write my own test cases here. So create test suite here. When you create it, you see that your test suite got created and now you have logged in into their dashboard kind of thing, right? Here, multiple options are available. Errors, reports, tree view, data. It will capture your videos. I mean, the complete video also recording, also screenshot, also historical reports. Also, you can see that and a lot of integrations we will see in upcoming chapters. Documentation is also quite good. So what we will do here is that we just need to click on this particular add test case here. See this click on add test case. And here you can write the basic description that what exactly the test is all about. So let's see, I want to perform something. Uh, let's see, add to cart feature that see a simple one scenario. I'll give it to you add to cart scenario here. This is a simple scenario and then simple write the custom steps, new line separated. It means one line, one command. Okay. One line, one step that you can write it here. So I'm already having some steps with me. See, I'll just show you. I just copy this so that we can just simply quickly paste it over here. So you see that here that enter test trigger into email address, because obviously we have to start with the username password, this username password we have to enter. And then after that, let me just simply close this. This is the password into password field, click login. Then after that, enter MacBook into search. So this is what I'm doing that after login, what do you have to do after login? You have to search, let's see MacBook. And after MacBook, I'm saying, click on this particular product, MacBook pro. And then after that, I'm saying, click on add to cart. And after click on add to cart, I'm saying, click on shopping cart like this, right? Let's see up to here. I really want to check this particular scenario. So this is what exactly I have written. Enter MacBook into search and type enter. And then after that, click MacBook pro, select that particular product. 
add to cart, click on shopping cart and check that the page contains MacBook Pro next to image. See, I'm writing one validation also. I'm writing one assertion also, some checkpoint also. So this is the checkpoint that check that MacBook Pro is really available next to image. So that also you can give it like just like we do it in Selenium, uh, relative locators next, below, above, right and then nearby locators also we can write it here so same thing here that i'm writing check that page contains macbook next to some image and click use coupon code so yeah, i'm saying click on use coupon code and then enter something in this particular text field enter your coupon here so i simply say test one two three into this particular text field that's it after that you really want to add more steps you can add it here as well okay so I'll do one thing. I simply click on add and run. When you click on add and run, the execution will start immediately after this. You see that opening the first page, you just need to open this. And, uh, and within few seconds, it will start. You see that here, the message is coming. The, your test case are being executed. It's in progress. So you don't need to download anything for that. It is automatically create a container on their platform. And then you see that one by one, step by step, screenshots are coming. And then it's amazing within few seconds execution is done and then complete scenario is done here see it's done within what how much time it take it took only 16 seconds you see it here and the test is passed with the green color here right so if you really want to see that what exactly happened here you see that complete trail here the screenshot trail here so let's start with that this is the first page you see that i hope you guys can see this this is a login page see this and then after that step also, it's saying that enter this and that the username, password and the click on login. So login button is simple highlighted here with the red color box. And then after that, go to the home page or whatever the page is available. Then it says enter the MacBook into the search and type enter. See, it's entering the MacBook over here, which is absolutely good. Then after that, click on MacBook Pro. See, it's clicking on MacBook Pro. I hope you notice click on MacBook Pro. So yes, it's clicking on it. So we just need to give the plain English commands here and that's it. After that, it's moving to this particular page. After that, we are saying click on add to cart. See, click on add to cart. You keep matching the step here and the same actions will be performed on the page. And then after that, add to cart. After that, it's we are saying that you have to click on the shopping cart. So there is a shopping cart link. So it will go to the cart page. So then it's going to the cart page and see it is highlighting all the important elements here. It says check that page contains MacBook Pro next to image. So this is the image next to this image. MacBook Pro is available. And then after that, you click on use coupon code. So it's clicking on it after that. And then after that, we are saying what? Then after that, we are saying enter one, two, three into the coupon code. It's clicking on, I mean, entering the one, two, three over here, which is absolutely working fine. So now you see that this is like crazy, right? We just need to give what we just need to give our steps and then you can just simple uh, view the steps also these are the steps that we have given in the plain english not a single code that you need to write and that's it after that you are absolutely good to go with that right so later on n number of examples i'll show you in upcoming uh, chapters we will create a full flash series on test trigger proper end-to-end -end things we will create and then n number of complex to complex scenarios also we will try to do that let's see web table how to wait can we apply the weight also here just like we do it in selenium or playwright right web tables and then paginations and uh, maybe one page to another page can we create the custom rules just like we create the custom functions in the in selenium or other tools same thing we will do it here but without writing a single code this is the beauty of this code right i mean this is the beauty of this tool now, if any errors are there, you can check it here as there are no errors. And then if you see the report also, this is a report is display here. If you really want to see the tree view of your uh, steps, so see it started with the home screen. And then after that, it's entering the username, password, password is masked here. You see that it's not showing you the password here. For every step, there is a screenshot also. You can check it here. See, this is a screenshot. And then after that, enter MacBook into search, click on this, click on add to cart, click on shopping cart. Click on use coupon code and enter one, two, three into this particular coupon. And that's it. And then you see that the step is actually over here. It is entering test one, two, three. This is the last step that we did here. So complete review structure. Also, you can take the screenshot or give it to anyone that also you can do it here. Any captured data, 
So it will, whatever the data it actually captured, it will generate the zip file and then you can download that as well. Last run is finished, right? And then if you really want to create more test suites, that also you can create it in the single test suite. If you really want to add more test cases, see, click on add test case. That also you can do it again. You write the descriptions and everything. You can write generate the test cases using the AI also. That also I'll show you in the next upcoming chapters that how to generate that here. So it's very simple tool. Go with that. N number of test suite you can maintain here according to your application, according to your uh, uh, different uh, projects that you are handling it. You can do it here, right? So this is just a first video just to give you an intro and the demo about how exactly these things are working. If you're looking for a tool which is AI based and the codeless also, you don't need to write any single code and your team is looking for something, a uh, codeless automation tool. And for the product manager also, for the manual testers also, <clears throat> this is the best fit for them. You can start looking into it. If you need any kind of help or any kind of uh, uh, queries with respect to tool, feel free to write in the comment section here. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care and God bless you all.